Not to see that change, but boy, oh boy, in the south, they have just been in it. I mean, take a look at Dallas right now, 100 degrees, Albuquerque, 95, Phoenix, 108. Uh, that's why they have all of these different heat advisories, excessive heat warnings that have been up and that have been up basically for the last week, and they're still there. And it's kind of, you know, not that often that you see it from the southwest all the way over basically to the panhandle of Florida. That's an incredible amount of heat, right, that has just had such staying power. And, of course, we talked about the severe weather that's happening in the northeast that's still going on out west we have some lightning popping in the sierra we also by the way have a wind advisory down in southern california just at the very very tip of southern california but this has really fired up today and you can just see all of the lightning in and around lake tahoe and also in some of the northern coastal mountains here too um, so we are in that unstable space right and that is kind of the pattern we'd seen for a while there then we got a little break from it and now we're back to it marine layer giving us a little break in most spots except for the coast and certainly out here at live moon bay They've been sitting in the clouds all day today, and I don't think they're going to see anything different. The wind picked up a bit. We're at 16 miles per hour at SFO, just 10 out at Half Moon Bay. But we're in the teens in spots like Livermore and in the 20s up in Fairfield. So it's breezy out there today, and that has everything to do with that low pressure still kind of influencing our weather. So if we take a look at what's happening with the marine layer tonight, it's going to bring in some of that coastal drizzle yet again. We start tomorrow very similar to today, and temperatures will start to pick up by a couple of degrees tomorrow, but not much, right? So very similar. So we're looking out for maybe some low 80s in spots like Antioch, upper 70s uh, in spots like Livermore, Santa Rosa, looking out for about 81, but just 64 in San Francisco. And if you look at our extended forecast, it really isn't until Thursday that we're going to see the big pickup in temperatures. By Friday, we're into the upper 90s uh, as we look inland, 80s around the bay, and then 60s out at the coast. Back to